Here's a quick video using Visual Studio 2010 to create a database uh, connected program. I'm in Visual Basic. I'm doing File, New, Project, Windows Forms application. Go to my toolbox and in the data group, I'm going to add a data grid view control. Choose my data source. I'm going to add a project data source, a database, a data set. There are no connections, so we need to create a new connection. I'm going to choose a SQL Server database file. You can also use an access database if you're in a pinch just to test the functionality. I'm going to choose the AP database. I'm going to do OK. Use Windows Authentication. And when it asks you if you want to copy that database into your project, say yes. So everything all stays together. When you get to choose your database information, we're just going to choose all the tables, but you could choose individual tables and or all the other options listed there. Notice the name is AP Dataset. We're going to use that again later. Here is my data set. You get to choose which table you want in the data grid view. And it looks best if you set the um, property on this. You can right click and go down to properties. Uh, whenever I add a data grid view, I like to set the doc property to fill. It's going to take up the entire form window, which should look nice. Now we'll run it to make sure that everything's set up properly. And you'll see you have a Windows um, Forms application that shows you all, all of the data in a database table. I uh, would like to be able to test some other things in here, so I'm going to add another form. Um, so before I do that, I'm going to change the text on this form so it doesn't just say Form 1. This is going to be my data grid view form. I'm going to go ahead and change the name property as well, so I'll be able to differentiate these in code. I like to use the standard prefix FRM, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to add another form. Make sure Windows Form stays highlighted. Just call this one main. What I want to do is create one main window, one main form for this program, so that I could test a few other things and make some other uh, make some other sub form pages off of it. So I'm just going to add three buttons to my uh, main form. Um, set the text property on the button. I'm going to have it open up that data grid view. Double click to create the event handler and just do uh, the form name dot show which will make that form open up. And the last thing we have to do since the um, project originally only had the one form which I made form data grid view, I need to go into the properties of the project and change it so that the startup form is now this new form, this main. And with that done, when we run the program, we'll now get the form main when we start. And our data grid view still works. And we're ready to add another form where we can play with some other features of uh, database programming in Visual Basic. And I'll add another Windows form. I'm going to call this uh, a bound control because you'll see, other than just having that data grid view that automatically populates, we can pick a different control and connect it to our database. So I'm going to set this button to open up that other form that I just created. And in that new form, Let's make this button something more user friendly. Using the Solution Explorer window, if you don't see it, go to View, the View menu. Let's make a list box control and the little arrow that comes up at the top right of it. Since we already have a data set, we see all of its members in here, so I can choose uh, the vendors, um, and choose which member of that field to display. I'll choose the vendor name. And 
you'll see when we run this, our list box control will have all those vendors' names in there. And this is just to get you started. Um, I'll make another video that will um, show off doing some other things in SQL.